What's going on, everyone? VenomSting234 back here with another Six Flags Great America related video. Um, if anyone's wondering uh, what's the best way to get there, it, it, it all depends on where you live within the Gurney area. For me, it's like about a half an hour, depending on traffic drive from the uh, McHenry County area, may, may, mo mostly in Crystal Lake, that's where I'm at. So that's about like a half an hour or more drive, like I said, depending on traffic, how it really goes. Um, <clears throat> the basic way to get there for a lot of people is via the I-94 East or West uh, tollway. Um... I'm not entirely sure what the prices is for each toll booth, but I'll put a link in the description for the Illinois Tollway, which will give you the go ratings. Me, I tend to personally avoid the interstate uh, tollways since I don't normally drive on those anymore after I left uh, another career. Don't want to talk about that. Um... I'll I'll also have a picture provided next that I'll bring up in a while that will show you the basic way of how to get there. Uh getting from I ninety four it's really it really sticks out. You'll be able to see the park from I ninety four real easily. Uh do, 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 do. So I'm going to be, ha I have the basic route to get inside uh, highlighted in sky blue that will take you from Grand Avenue all the way to six, the correct road on Six Flags, which you'll be uh, prompt for a sign that will say it. You take that road. I remember it's Six Flags Avenue, if I'm correct. Um, let me just double check. Yeah, Six Flags Grand Avenue, if I'm correct. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. You'll drive right by Cedar Park, which is a very small uh, basketball court next to a couple of housing units, which I'm going, which I say they're lucky to actually live so close to Six Flags Great America. And the blue square that I have provided is um, basically the parking gate. That's where you pay for the park inside the uh, parking lot, <clears throat> which ranges from 25 to $22 if you buy it in advance, which is always a good deal. But there is a parking membership or a parking season pass that you can get for about... Oof, forget how much those go. Um... But that'll get you free parking inside the uh, parking lot for the whole entire season, which you can actually <clears throat> get free with a gold season pass or gold season membership. So you pay for the season pass and membership, you get that for free. So you get to come into the park for free, and you get to come into the parking lot for free. So it's a good deal. Why not? And how the parking lot is, is uh, it's divided into sections. The very, very, very front is basically dedicated to to uh, handicap spots, which I do like seeing that. Um, as it goes further and further and further back, there are signs on uh, the street signs that post uh, different uh, cartoon characters from Warner Brothers, like... Speedy Gonzalez, Tweety, Daffy Duck, Sylvester, or some DC comic superheroes that are going to be also on these posts saying, you are parked in, I'm just rambling this off, Bugs Bunny area number six. So take a picture of that or make a note of it somewhere around that and you're good to go as far as parking go as parking area goes. Now, when you enter the whole entire uh, parking lot after you get out, all you have to do is walk along the path to go to the entrance gate to the whole park itself. 
pay for your ticket, which is around sixty-five dollars. Uh, I think it was around if you're forty-eight inches under, it's gonna be uh, less. So I'm wrong about age from the past one. Well, I take it back. It's not gonna. It, my whole thing is about age is not. 100% correct, so anyone under 48 inches is going to be a cheaper way to get inside. <clears throat> so, with that, I'm going to close this and say I really hope to see you at Six Flags Greater America when it finally opens May 3rd at 8.30 a.m. Me, I cannot wait. Don't mind that sign. That's just my Xbox 360. Don't blame me. I can't really afford the Xbox One at the moment, which I really don't want to get. If you want to see more of this, just type in the address, which I provide in a couple other videos and in the description of my last video of my Six Flags trip vlogs. Um, that's all I can really say. I, I, I just can't wait for this thing to open so I can get on Goliath and go on all my favorite rides. Um, but let me ask you, all of you. What is your favorite ride of Six Flags of all time, from past, present? If you were there during 1976 on May 29th, when it first opened, they had a multitude of different rides, the Sky Whirl, Yankee Clipper, Eagle's Flight, all that kind of stuff was back in the way back in the 70s, the late 70s. So if you have a favorite ride, let me know. Put it inside the comments and tell me why you like that ride so much. So I'll see you guys later and I'll see you at Six Flags Great America.